XRP, XLM, and XDC holders. What if I told you that the next four days are going to determine the action for the rest of this year? I'm not just talking about U.S. action. I'm talking about global action these next four days. Let's get into learning what we're looking at next. Just got done with a 10-mile run. Nice and easy, but boy, was I cooking today. Brad Yates says, thanks, Klaus. Totally agree with you and can't understand why everything else gets instantly caught on YouTube. We're talking about the Brad Garlinghouse game, which is all over the freaking place on YouTube right now. But YouTube is able to catch all the copyright stuff, swearing stuff, a little bit of a nip slip. You get what I'm saying? Oh, come on, YouTube. You can catch all this stuff, but you can't catch the same fake stream over and over. XRP Goat says, only a newbie would fall for these scams. YouTube, up your game and clean up your act. Innocent people are being conned here. It's not good enough, YouTube. Uh, XRP Goat, it's not about just newbies. Think about people with language barriers. I think that's something that really catches a lot of people off guard because they see these streams. They see the translations on the bottom of the screen, so they don't understand like the, the lips matching with the words and so forth. So for foreign people out there, right, using translation services, dude, they, they're fucking screwed. They, and that's why YouTube needs to clean it up. We're going to talk about these next four days being the biggest, setting the stage for the rest of this year. Are we talking green candlesticks or are we talking red pain train? By the way, green is what? The gain train. Bitcoin's sitting at 37212 ETH, 2053. Auction tonight, looking for some silver, everyone. XRP sitting at 66.3. XLM hanging out right now at 12.5 with XDC hanging out somewhere around here. I can never find it. It's always so small. With XDC running it out at 5.6. So what's going on these next few days? Well, guess what? November 14th at 8.30 a.m. U.S. CPI data. Going to be doing a live stream on it. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Why? The market moves on macros. Now, hold on. That's the 14th. This gets even more complex. On the 15th is PPI data. What the producers are paying to make these goods. Now, what we've been seeing here recently, and this is globally, not just U.S. Don't worry, everyone. I got a treat for you globally. What we've seen is that these producers are passing the price on to us, right? Their increases on to us, which that's why we're seeing inflation go up more and more. So if the producers keep paying more and more and they keep passing it on for us, uh, don't look for inflation to be cooling down. Oh, what else do I got? How about a couple days later, November 17th, the Eurozone CPI data. Oh my gosh. And as always, any article you see in this video, along with my other ones, will be linked in the description below. This is Eurozone inflation rate. Got some charts and some stats here. Now, we talked about inflation with the US, right? As fast as you go up, you gotta go down. The UK, though, is struggling a bit more so than the rest of the Eurozone when it comes to inflation. What else do I got for you? How about consumer price inflation CPI data for the UK? Yes, that's on the 18th. So we've got all these big economic powerhouses releasing their inflation data. And why is it important? Because it sets the stage for the last two months of the year for rate hikes. If we can get a pause and let these rate hikes that have been high for a while take effect for longer, we might not even have to keep raising, which means we might be done. What would that be awesome? Now, hold up, hold up. I got something even more important for you. You thought UK inflation, Eurozone, US CPI and PPI data was big to move the markets? What if I told you one more thing was happening during this week? The U.S. government will likely see a shutdown unless we get a continuing resolution by November 17th. Most people expect a resolution to be passed. Right now, you've got a one in three chance that a government shutdown occurs. However, if a shutdown does occur, would it be bullish or bearish for crypto? This week is all about macros and macros rule the roost. The reason this week is so important is because the following week we start looking into holiday action. And what happens to the markets during holiday week? Volume just tanks, right? During that whole Thanksgiving week, the markets are just volume wise. So hopefully we get some juicy news here with US CPI, US PPI, UK CPI, Eurozone CPI, and avoiding a US government shutdown. If we can get through all of those without Gary Gensler using the government shutdown to delay ETF rulings, we could see more green candlesticks. Now I know, it doesn't mean you're gonna get green every day, but this week is big. And if we could get a pause, if we could get good enough data to get us a pause through the rest of this year, we might be able to get through this without further rate hikes, which would be amazing for crypto. 
because that means we could say the worst is behind us and greener valleys, skies, roads, whatever the hell we're going to say are in front of us. Greener pastures is maybe what the phrase is. What am I doing today? Well, I just got done with an easy 10 mile run. I still got a lift today. Six hour ultra I got coming up in about seven weeks. I'm getting ready for it. What are you doing this Sunday? Oh, and I got an auction coming up. A little bit of silver action going on. And don't forget the first official gold and silver show on this channel is going to be happening tomorrow. So you stackers out there, hit that subscribe button and notification bell because you're not going to want to miss it. We're going to be talking gold, silver, price action, stories, where to find the stuff for the best prices, where to sell for the best prices, and some legends of the ones that got away and not legends because we actually found the juicy gems hidden in the piles of junk. All right, everyone, I'm going to go stretch a little bit, hit my lift. You cool cats, have a great rest of your day.